Hey there, I'm a DIY track guy. This is my humble garage, and today isn't legs day, it's arms day. This is a Paco Motorsport strong arm, and its sole purpose in life is to reduce flexing and cowl shake on your Miata by reinforcing the frame horns that support the engine. They say it's a simple bolt on affair, so let's go. And here we are with the fender off. It wasn't too difficult, but let's go over where the fasteners are. First, you need to take the fender liner out. And to get the fender off, there's four exposed bolts at the very top here, a hidden bolt by the door, an inner nut on a bracket where you need to use a long extension, two bolts on the rear bottom of the fender accessed from under the car, two nuts on studs where the fender is sandwiched in between this plate and the bumper studs. And the trickiest one is at the front of the fender hidden by the bumper. You need to pull this back to get access to it. Once you've done that, you can remove the fender and you'll have access to this. I find it interesting that this hole from the cowl area allows water and debris to flow down behind the fender skin where the water drains, but the debris accumulates at the bottom. It's no wonder that this area is so prone to rust. Not a great design, Mazda. Now we need to remove these four 12 mil door hinge bolts. is closed. The instructions don't call for it, but I'm going to use orange Loctite. Bolt and washer. Now for the door hinges, we've used the supplied bolts and washers with a little bit of orange Loctite. And up here, we've used the two 10 millimeter bolts and washers into the unibody. For this top fastener, Paco Motorsports supplies this tab nut and this bolt. The tab nut sits behind the cowl sheet metal here, accessed through the drain hole we were talking about earlier. I'm not an engineer, but I think that's a nice design. Now let's tighten up these two 10 mils to pull the arm into the unibody. Let's be sure not to over tighten. Now we'll zip in the door hinge bolts. And let's tighten up this top 15 mil. And I put this screwdriver here to prevent the tab nut from rotating. And at the front here, we need to secure the arm using these two holes. Notice that the hole in the sheet metal doesn't line up properly. And on this side, there's a wiring harness clip. So first, let's get rid of this wiring harness. Here's the wiring harness in question. And there's a plastic clip holding it to the sheet metal that we need to pop out. I'm just going to use a bungee cord to hold this back. Now we'll use this 3 8 inch drill bit to drill out the holes. Now we use the supplied nuts, bolts, and washers, and a little bit of Loctite. Great, so all the fasteners are in place, we just need to torque up the bolts. Max spec for the door hinge bolts are 21 foot-pounds. They didn't give a spec for this bolt, so let's just put it at 21 foot-pounds as well. For the 10 mils down here, it says not to over-tighten them, but let's just make sure they're snug. Good. And for these two, let's see if we can get it to 21 foot-pounds as well. 
And finally, for these exposed bolts, we install these little plastic acorn nuts. And here it is installed, doesn't it look nice? I really like this black powder coat finish. This design is pretty cool too. They must have put a lot of thought into this. There are other fender braces on the market. I'll leave links in the description. But Paco Motorsports is the only one that extends all the way out here to the frame horns past the shock. We'll see if this helps with the flexing and cowl shake, but just by the looks of it, this is a very beefy and well-designed unit. And it only weighs six pounds a side. So let's reinstall the fender skin, do the other side and take it for a test drive. Hey there, I'm wearing a hat and we're going for a test drive. Let's see how these Paco Motorsports strong arms feel. We're just going for a quick drive around my neighborhood. perfect and I think I have a few ideas that can make this even better but that's a job for another time anyway back to the Ford so I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that we have reached peak Miata bolt-on fender brace technology with these Paco Motorsports strong arms the design and engineering that's gone into this thing is beyond the other products that are on the market yet they've been able to keep it accessible to the average Miata enthusiast the folks over at Paco Motorsports have done a great job with this piece and you can feel it over every bump and in every turn that's the great thing about chassis mods, you don't need to be on a racetrack to feel them doing their job. So that's all from the Mostly Useless Garage, I'm quite happy with this one. You're awesome, I'm useless, thanks for watching. I also have it on good authority that the folks over at Paco Motorsports are the best, the brightest, the most talented and gifted team producing aftermarket bespoke Miata products and they have unparalleled personal hygiene.